Hello, Liberty Benton. This weekend, while I was uh, relaxing, of course, I was playing with my model trains. I noticed that the whole underlying piece of fabric that I have for my model train is essentially a giant green screen. It's actually a piece of green felt that I bought at Hobby Lobby, I think for $12. But there wasn't any reason that I couldn't repurpose that piece of uh, green felt to make a background, something a little more interesting on one of the videos that I'm doing. So I went back into OBS, the piece of software I've already talked about a couple times, and I added a green screen filter to uh, the video that the video settings that I already had. I'll show you how I did that. Here's uh, my original, and you can see that I'm capturing uh, the display. That's why you see this picture in a picture in a picture because it's capturing a display of a display of a display. And you see my camera device. So let me click on the camera device and go to filters. And you can see I've added the chroma key filter. Let me remove that so you can see what this start. You can see what this looked like when I started. This is uh, me sitting on my floor in my sunroom. I just draped uh, the green felt over the edge of the table. Actually, I used some Amazon boxes on top of the table so it was a little bit taller because uh, right here is how tall the table is. Uh, and then I added this effect. I right clicked, add, chroma key, I can call it chroma key, that's fine. And I did this, now it doesn't look much different, but this slider right here controls exactly where the computer sees the green screen versus uh, the object in front of the green screen. So you have to play around with this a little to make it to where you get um, all of the edges around you uh, disappear uh, without having too much of a ghost uh, looking picture in, in the front. Now, once you have that, you could uh, bring your own picture into uh, a new scene. And here's a picture I took a few years ago at Mount Vernon. Uh, I just dropped this in as my background, just like I did the Star Wars picture at the beginning. What you should do is look around and see, are there things that you have that could make what you do a little more interesting to you or to your students. You don't need to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. I took a piece of cloth that you know, I was playing on a train on and turned it into a green screen. You probably have other things that you can use in whatever kind of uh, instructional technique that you wanna use. Engage your kids a little bit better, make it a little more interesting for you when you teach and hopefully 1% better.